Hello, a uh, bit different today, not going to do a song, just have a quick chat, if that's okay. Uh, now, those of you who follow me on Twitter, and to a lesser extent Facebook, there are two things that you will know about me. One is that I'm an atheist, and two, I can sometimes be a bit of a dick about the fact that I'm an atheist. And this question has been put to me, both online and indeed in person. Why am I such a dick about the fact that I don't believe in any gods? Now, um... I'd like to answer that question for you right now. Uh, there, there's, there's two separate questions though, really, isn't there? The first question is, why am I an atheist? And this is a very simple question to answer. I was born an atheist, as incidentally was everybody, and I haven't seen, heard, read, or experienced anything in the time since then to convince me that any gods exist. Okay, quick bit of clarification. When I say everybody is born an atheist, I don't mean everybody is born holding the philosophical position that there are no gods. Okay, that would be absurd. But that isn't actually what atheism means. Atheism is not somebody who believes that there is no God. It's just somebody who doesn't believe that there is one. And since when you're born, you have no concept of God because nobody's told you about God yet, by definition, you can't believe in what you've never heard of. Ah, but surely some of you are now thinking, well, if you just don't believe that there are any gods, doesn't that make you an agnostic rather than an atheist? No, it doesn't. They are entirely separate things, and I am in fact both. But that's a subject for a different video. So, that leads us to the second question. Why am I such a dick about the fact that I'm an atheist? Well, the thing you have to remember about atheism is it isn't really an identity as such. I don't identify myself as an atheist except when required to do so. Except when somebody actually asks me, do you believe in any gods? And I'm forced to reply, well, no, no, I don't. Uh, if anything, I identify as a skeptic. You know, that's, that's, that's my attitude to things in general. I don't believe in stuff until I've seen decent corroborating evidence. And God, and indeed all gods, are just one of the many things I don't believe in. Uh, but the fact that I don't believe in God, it has no more real significance to me on a daily basis than the fact that I don't believe in the Loch Ness Monster. You know, I don't try and live my life as a good atheist. I don't, when confronted with a problem, think to myself, hmm, what would the correct atheist position be on this? I don't walk around wearing little bracelets saying, what would Christopher Hitchens do? Although now I've thought of that, I am totally going to start making those and flogging them on Etsy. Ah, but surely you are now asking yourself, perhaps, if your non-belief in God is of no more significance to you than your non-belief in the Loch Ness Monster, why are you not always turning up on the internet being a dick about the fact that you don't believe in the Loch Ness Monster? Well, I would be if people who believed in the Loch Ness Monster were starting wars with people who didn't believe in the Loch Ness Monster or who believed in a different Loch Ness Monster or who believed in the same Loch Ness Monster but in a different way. Or if people who believed really strongly in the Loch Ness Monster were blowing themselves up on crowded buses or driving trucks into crowds of civilians because they thought the Loch Ness Monster had told them to do it. Or if people who believed in the Loch Ness Monster were voting en masse for a politician purely because he had convinced them that he too believed in the Loch Ness Monster. And if these politicians who professed to believe in the Loch Ness Monster, once elected, were starting to enforce laws to make the rest of us live our lives the way they think the Loch Ness Monster wants us to. If any of that started happening, then I think you'd find that I, and indeed quite a lot of people who don't believe there's a Loch Ness Monster, would start turning up on the internet being kind of dicks about the fact that we don't think there's a Loch Ness Monster. I hope that explains it. Uh, if not, feel free to email me on... Uh, mitchbenpatreon at gmail.com and I will try and be a bit more articulate. In the meantime, um, if you've ever been asked this question yourself uh, and been stumped for an answer, feel free to circulate this, this video if you feel it's an adequate response. Uh, and also, if you've enjoyed this video or any of the other weird stuff I'm doing right now, the, the videos, the little songs, the, uh, the podcast, will be, will be beginning soon, promise, um, please do visit patreon.com slash mitchben um, and find out how you can help me carry on doing this kind of thing with just a tiny bit of your time and a tiny bit of your support. Okay, well, I'll see you again soon, as soon as I think of a song or I get a bee in my bonnet about something. Wonder which will happen first.